This is the hospital where I will work as a doctor vampire. This is now my base of operations. Now that we've completed the beginning bonanza. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning Hi, to be Dorothy. concerned. Hi, Dorothy. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring her news. Nurse Crane. I have a hematologist with me. Oh, He's Doctor, a little bit a weird. We lost two more patients. Oh, Nurse shit. Said she couldn't Back in the day when you could just walk around in healthcare yes, with well, blood all over you, and people were like, morning. that's a good thing. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure Put to him wherever. To his needs. Of attention, course, pay, oh, pay attention to his needs. <laughs> oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to I'm have glad you had this dapper outfit planet. on your so uh, your boat in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank I'm you. gonna no eat her. This is required, Doctor Swansea. Immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Yeah. Okay. I get it. You're a fan. Look how good I look. I look like a true it's vampire. Right. Take me to a hospital. You guys are in the way, though. It's okay, Jonathan. I'll see you later. Everybody's healthy here. Cause it's a hospital. You can do better than that. What was that? Nah, it's not oh, I'm gonna kill all y'all. Did you guys know that I'm a doctor? Why? Why is it like this? Each heart contains the secrets of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Oh, he wants me to eat people. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. No, I do. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? I'm tempted. Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Oh, fuck this guy. I'll be more polite, Insulting I Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain. Guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. Uh -huh. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was. A, I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Let me eat you. The blood quality indicates how delicious they are. He's not delicious right now. I have to mesmerize him to eat him. Press. I don't want to though. Yeah, I don't actually want to. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Oh look, I can take him wherever I want. Look. Life and death. Let me take him to the hospital. No, no, I don't want to eat him. You can't make me eat him. Fuck off. I'm taking him to the hospital. I know it's over here. Once I get him to some people who won't eat him, then he can be my friend. Look what I brought you guys. It won't let me... Do I have to eat this fucking guy? I don't want to eat him. I said I would eat the guys I fight. I don't want to eat this guy. Oh, well, I guess I gotta eat this guy. I don't. I don't really want to eat him though. It won't. Let, it won't let me back out. Maybe this guy is just like a tutorial guy, and he doesn't really matter. But he told me his name. That makes me think he's on. Wait, is he on the menu? Maybe that'll help make me feel a certain way about murdering him. He's not on the menu. 
He's not on the me Shit, he's on the menu. Uh-oh. I don't want to eat him, though. Maybe it'll let me change my mind. And I won't have to eat this guy. I don't really want to eat him. Like, his blood- his guts are spilling out. I want to actually do-, do yeah, release. I'm hitting release. I've released you. Okay, no good. More. Not tonight. Not like this. Yeah. I will not take another life. Alright, come with me. Oh, what happened? Yeah, come here. Let me take you to the hospital. Are you just gonna fucking sit here? Fine. Nobody's making my life easy. Oh, I can't kill any of this. Clay, Whoa, get up. I feel Maybe I fixed him with mind control. Cause I'm like a superhero doctor. Could happen. Now what? It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Oh, I'm gonna eat the other guys. I'm gonna eat all the guys in the Prewind clan. Don't worry about that. Uh-oh, it's never good when the hospital is spilling out onto the streets. Oh yeah, this is bad news. This is how it's gonna be here. Hi guys. Oh man. Why does everybody need a blood transfusion? You noticing this? Maybe they're not blood transfusion stain, maybe they're saline. Did they know about that back then? I mean, if they have blood transfusions, I would hope so. All right, nurse. Hello, nurse. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members. I was staff chilling. Members, no you didn't want to talk to me. They may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds. Yeah. That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter Milton. Can you change your flipping? Cover Thank there, ma'am. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll yeah, man. The my with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? I want to eat her. Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. That was super fast. Sure, I guess I, would I have like questions. to ask a few questions first. Uh. Yeah, how's Mr. And Mr. Hampton? Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. He just needed a Val pal. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I yeah. think he would have known about your employer. See, she's smart. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. I don't know a dang thing. I know, know he scared enough, me with a cross, though. Me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Oh, okay. Bye. Thank you, Nurse Crane. We'll be friends later, I guess. Maybe. Or maybe she'll hate me. This is how it's gonna be, guys. All hospitals are overflowing here. They're gonna literally just be tent set up outside. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Hey, here's another doctor. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed. Oh, of course has I'm us. famous. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? How about other? the news that I'm actually dead? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Doctor I can't remember yes, everybody. I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. It's over now. Look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion. I'm like specialist. 30. Okay. Yeah, personal questions. Oh, I can't ask this shit yet. What's what the situation here? What is the Pembroke here? Hospital situation? And please speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. I'll get over it. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Truth. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It 
just lacks hope. Oh, shit. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, that's there is usually no how time staff to are. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Okay, what about management? Any it always sucks, about right? The management. I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical. Oh, I was also like a general, don't probably. Get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Okay, well he was. I hate to tell you that. Tell me more about cherished people then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. Branigan. She is the most helpful and dedicated Laura Branigan has a cool song. With. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her. Oh, I learned some shit. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Oh, that figures. Alright, uh... Personal questions. Really? I thought there'd be one about Bran again. Oh, okay, goodbye. goodbye Dr. Tibbetts. What about you, honey? Are you Bran again? Nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Here, I'll help. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm yep. Nurse Gwyneth Branigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. What's Did going on? Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. In like the last five well, minutes? I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He loves them. He is them. convinced it is the future. Well, it's part of the future. I'm not sure it's as big a deal as you guys might think. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard to get a good angle. It's hard, Doctor. Uh, could the hospital fail? Do you think fail? this hospital can survive? All hospitals can. We're all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast. Oh, nobody's getting paid either. How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. I don't dare be creative. We'll do with a good night's sleep. All right, well, it was nice to meet Goodbye, you, Gwen. Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Nice to meet you. Guess we'll we'll probably be hanging out a little bit. All right, what else though? Yo, you got? Can I snack on these patients? Like no one's gonna know. If I just take a little nibbly bibbly, no one will mind. I just know it. I know they'll be like, oh, tickled. Your city needs you. Life saved by efficient medical aid is a blow struck at the blow of the flu epidemic. Volunteers make a difference. Go work in the hot zone. It'll work Dr. out. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Oh, I'm a researcher now. Oh, I hate it when no one's at the front desk. All right, more doctors. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. What's up? I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed, yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm annoyed I'm by you. Acroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way? Yeah, I was a rising Let us star. Let just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Oh. What's your problem, bitch? If you bitch? have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. That's what admins do. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Oh, this guy's like a real doctor. Yeah, no need there for is such no animosity, need for such sweetheart. Animosity between us. 
Don't you think the epidemic is already enough to deal with? That is one point we could agree on. And that is precisely why I want to be sure that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. Oh, fuck you, dude. Tell me about the hospital. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me Yeah, I've only been here for like 30 place. seconds. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time, his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? We're here well, to he did bring lives. a vampire to a hospital. They're not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend oh, that's to true. run any radical experiments, Doctor. They're not radical. Even They're I totally fine. I tried them once before and they sort of worked, and I'm going to do it on everybody. The boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. This guy is a good guy. I'm with him. Uh. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. No, we won't. I'm busy being better than you. Oh. I should have the option to like check these people out. They need to fill these rooms. Oh, how does it feel being the only one in this area? Everybody else is dead. Man, I hate the idea of a big long ass war. Hey, hey, honey. What can I do for you? Oh, that's what's your face. No, it's, it's nothing. You, I just, I didn't expect you to be here. Alright. Who's this? Good evening, Doctor. So many doctors. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Oh, I'm Dr. totally Swansea into you as well, sir. Arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Ackroyd's gonna such kick this guy's honor, ass. Sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Thoreau. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Okay. Let's hear Please, it. could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. I got Reed. that. That seems to be the only thing I've done. I'm convinced it's the future. Uh, tell me about your experiments. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. We don't want to put that My shit in the script. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. In case people as try to do it. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. Okay. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. How fucking old I am, am I? To have the opportunity to work by your side. Like I can't be that old. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to. Unless this you guy is like 15. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. Fuck the nurses. They didn't do anything, right? Uh, Ackroyd, he what hates me. What do you me. think of Dr. Ackroyd's Oh, give me your mind. Medical methods. It's Forgot a shame I was so a vampire there for a minute. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. It can get a little too exploratory. With the influenza and all that's going on. You should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? Man, I'm just a paragon of virtue, aren't I? I did kill my sister, process, though. He would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Man, I walked into a fucking... What can you tell me about the Pembroke? The well, Pembroke. It's always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. It's gonna be legit. I'm gonna put it all over my LinkedIn. Do you need my help? Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products oh, my first I ordered for my quest, personal maybe. research. Yet my supplier seems to have vanished. I'll, Do you want I'll me to play him. the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare of to Of course I'm famous. It'd be cooler I if I wasn't famous. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. You I got an investigation. 
It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Oh Questions yeah, it's all about you. about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. No, you're not. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Bye, Stricky. So if I recall correctly, it's best that I don't sleep until I've spoken to everybody and I've done whatever, like, quests I have. Because the world sort of changes every time I sleep. But, uh, I guess I should check out this patient, huh?